Looking forward, what do we envisage happening with cars? Well, I think that small cars which are cleverly designed will be a very important part of motoring in the next century. The costs of running a car are of course rising all the time, and it's not going to stop. So cars which are relatively cheap to buy in the first place are attractive. We'll look for innovative designs capable of carrying a family and all its luggage, but which merely sips fuel along the way. Personally, I like designs of vehicles such as the Mercedes A-Class, despite its early problems. A competitor for the A-Class will be the Audi A2, due out in summer 2000. What makes the A2 different is that it's the first volume production car in the world with a body made entirely from aluminium. The weight savings are substantial compared to steel-bodied cars, with the A2 weighing in over 40% lighter than if it had been made from steel. Low weight should mean real savings on fuel too, and the car will feel agile on the road. Service intervals of 2 years or 20,000 miles have an effect not only on your bank balance, but on the environment too. So, with a revolutionary car like the A2, is safety compromised? Well, it certainly shouldn't be. The Audi space frame is made from high-strength aluminium profiles, which acts like a protective cage around the occupants. The high-pressure aluminium castings used at the front posts are of a complexity that surpasses any element used in the aircraft construction sector. The entire section from roof post to the luggage compartment edge is made from a single extruded aluminium section. Audi predict that fuel economy on the A2 will be impressive, offering some 60 miles to the gallon. The A2 will also be launched as a variant capable of covering 100 kilometers using just 3 litres of fuel, which for a car of its size is truly remarkable. So why haven't more car makers gone down the same route as Audi in producing aluminium cars? Well, it's difficult to say, because if the A2 is a success, and it surely will be, perhaps others will decide that this form of vehicle is viable. There's no doubt that development costs for both the original aluminium car, the A8, and the new A2 have been substantial, and perhaps is why other manufacturers have been put off. Also in the next century, expect to see the cars laden with gadgets becoming more standard. At the moment, it's really just the high-end luxury sector which gets TV screens, navigation and adaptive cruise control as part of the range. But we think that mainstream car manufacturers like Ford, Vauxhall and Rover, to name just a few, will start offering these items as extras and then eventually fit them as standard. In-car entertainment and electronic wizardry will be a boom area in the coming years.